it started out as Gold in My Ear. If memory serves me correctly, it was owned by Los Angeles Hebrew High School. It was predominantly, if not totally, uh, for the conservative movement. They were having financial problems through the head of the UJ at the time, a Lieber, David Lieber, I think it was, if memory serves me correctly, to support uh, a community high school. It required X amount of dollars. It wasn't a lot, really, when you think about it. I think it was $50,000 each. And, you know, Zeldin agreed, you know, and he brought it before the board. And I have no idea why he asked me to become involved because I had no experience in, in education, let alone a Jewish uh, uh, high school. But we got involved and I started going to meetings and make a long story short, uh, the school was not financially sound, was basically bankrupt, did not have the money to pay the teachers on a monthly basis. And so um, the board had to go out, really their main function was to raise money so the school could exist. Without knowing everything, I knew it was important, you know, and I, I really, you know, put my heart into it. and. Um, that's how it started. At some point, while it was still located at Satakoy and Sepulveda Boulevard, I believe, um, we decided that we had to change the name. We needed to have something that people could relate to that was going to attract students, you know, that are going to private schools and so on. So we came up with the uh, Einstein as the name. I remember every month having to raise $15,000 to pay the payroll. You know, I'd go to work every day, I'd sit on the freeway, I'd be making calls, I would make appointments. I had a group of seven or eight people that were uh, involved with me, um, you know, once I became president and um, started out going to the different temples. I felt it was very important to get the support of the different Jewish institutions. I went to the Federation. Uh, the head of the Federation was, either the Federation or the Foundation was George Kaplan. We ended up moving to uh, the backyard slash uh, parking area of a temple. It was um, a conservative temple, if I remember correctly. And um, we put our trailers in that area, or we rented trailers, and we put them in that area, and the neighbors were a little upset, at least that's what we were told, and they called the fire department uh, right before finals that year, and they had us, uh, uh, they, we were evicted from the property. I contacted Zeldin, and I told him what the situation was, and he was unbelievable. You know, he, there was no way he was gonna let a Jewish institution, let alone a school, fail, not on his watch. Once Zeldin became involved, that was, a, that was a biggie, of course. But the two biggest in my mind was when the decision was made by Stephen Weiss to vacate. The, they were struggling with their program was uh, eighth, the seventh, eighth, and ninth, their middle school. Their K through six was very successful. But what happened was a lot of the school, the kids that came from the city side, their high school started in uh, 10th grade, so they wanted to go all the way through nine. The ones in the valley, the high school started in ninth grade, so they only wanted seventh and eighth. So what happened was the ninth grade was very, very anemic, you know, it just and parents were turned off, kids were turned off because there weren't enough students in ninth grade. And so I was appointed in charge as uh, being on the executive committee at the temple, I was put in charge of analyzing that situation and Matuka and I worked on it and came up with the realization that either we had to start a high school or close down the middle school. The middle school wouldn't survive the way it was. And so that was a critical decision because obviously I had, on the other hand, a high school that was immediately available, you know. So we went into the high school meeting, Milken, 
the full board and, and closed down the uh, middle school. Second major thing probably would have been when we were able to fund and build out the campus. I mean, that changed it from a struggling school to a school that had aspirations to succeed and a vision to succeed and were saying, we're gonna be on the same level as the best private schools in town. And um, it was a dream. I mean, to see what we have here is, is beyond belief. You know, it's something that, you know, we talked about, but seeing it realized is a whole different thing. They'd be blown away. They wouldn't believe it. I mean, they, they simply could not believe what this institution is today. I mean, I stayed involved for years and years and years, and I'm still blown away when I come up here. You know, the, the, the courses they offer and the, uh, the level of achievement and, and the facilities they have, it's just anybody that was involved 30 years ago, whatever it is, okay, needs to see this because it's for our, uh, not only a new generation now, but for generations to come, really. There's probably nothing more important to me than Jewish continuity and the Jewish education you get in a high school is so different and so much more important. You know, people get an education usually till they're bar and bar mitzvah and they're young and it dissipates fast. But when you go to a Jewish high school, you live with it forever. It becomes part of your thinking, part of your values, rightfully so. And it's so important, you know, when you think in terms of continuity, what it means. You know, we're raising the future of Jewish leaders. I have friends of my daughters that their kids are applying to Stephen Weiss. They haven't quite reached the age of milking yet, but they're talking about it. <laughs> All you have to do is look. I mean, it, it, it's, it, for me, it's very rewarding. I'm very, very, very proud. Thank you.